A new at six, a potential medical breakthrough for people who deal with chronic pain. That's right. Instead of invasive surgery or opioids, doctors are using one of the world's smallest devices. 13 Action News reporter Cynthia Maldonado explains how it works and introduces you to two locals who swear by it. Stanley Grismanowskis. It felt like somebody stabbing you. And Sim Stevenson. It was to the point that I was almost in a wheelchair. Have bad knees. Once a firefighter and. I used to be a boxer. Both have endured too much pain and have had a number of surgeries. A lot of stress on the on the body doing that kind of work. But their discomfort is now easing away. They're using a small device called Stimwave SES system. It allows us to specifically target pain. We're able to identify a patient's pain generators at a very precise level. Doctors Ruben Alexander and Neville Campbell are using it to treat back, knee, and shoulder chronic pain. They work at the Center for Wellness and Pain Care of Las Vegas. Most patients are able to have a device implanted under the skin in a very specific, specific area about this size. It's FDA approved. A stimulator was implanted in the knees. It is a minimally invasive uh, technology that's available now with little to no sedation. It comes with a remote that allows you to turn it on or off. Interrupt those pain signals from being processed by the brain. The pain relief is different for everyone. I'm between 20 and 30 percent reduction in pain. But Stevenson can walk just fine. He feels almost no pain. Dr. Campbell believes the device can help lower the use of opioids, prescribing fewer painkillers. Now we're realizing that that's not necessarily the best option. The National Institute on Drug Abuse reports that 130 people die from opioid overdoses every day. In 2017, 47,000 Americans died as a result of prescription opioids. Grismanowskis and Stevenson are taking it day by day, depending less on medication. Is it helpful? Of course, it, it, it truly is. And uh, would I recommend it? Well, if you're in, in constant pain, you bet. Cynthia Maldonado, 13 Action News.